All right, y'all, it has officially been two years since I made my last review of my favorite blank hoodies to use for your streetwear brand or for those of you who just like wearing a blank hoodie. I know I do that a lot too. Anyways, it's been two years since I made that video of my favorite top four brands to use for blanks. And it was my most viewed video and you guys all loved it. So now that it's been a couple years later, I got some new recommendations. I thought I would make another video and kind of show you guys my top picks for this year. And for those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Derek. I own two different clothing brands, Scumbag Society and by Derek M. And since 2017, when I started Scumbag Society, I have used a lot of different blank brands and blank hoodies and kind of got a feel for my opinion of which ones are the best and which ones I don't really like to use. So obviously we're not going to talk about the ones I don't like to use, but today we're going to get into the video and show you my top four picks for this year, 2024 of the best blanks for you guys to use for your, like I said, your brand, or if you just like wearing blank hoodies. So Anyways, without any more talking and stuff, let's get into the video and get right to the point of my favorite blanks. And also, I saved the best one, my favorite blank, and my favorite company for last. So make sure you guys are watching all the way to the end if you want to see my absolute favorite top pick for this year. All right, so I got my four favorite brands hanging up right here for this year's pick. Like I said, I'm saving the best one for last at the end there, so make sure you watch the end to see that one. All right, so the first two we're going to talk about, they're actually the same hoodie, just in two different colors. Are these ones in the front right here? These are the Independent Trading Co. IND 280SL Avenue Pullover Hooded Sweatshirt. So these hoodies are affordable, they're nice, and we're going to start off by talking about these ones. Now, these ones weigh in at about 8.5 ounces per yard squared, and they're about 280 GM and they are basically like a premium midweight fit so they're not going to be super heavy these are going to be nicer for like lighter spring drops and stuff like that if people aren't wanting like a super heavy thick material and obviously as you can see how i've already printed on my black one they do hold a screen print really nicely here's how the independent hoodie looks on body um, they are oversized. Typically, I wear a 2XL if I want a baggier look, or this one's just a single extra large, and it fits me pretty snugly, but still fits good because it's a little bit oversized. Um, some things to note about this hoodie would be that it doesn't have drawstrings for that more of like a streetwear look, doesn't have the pull strings on the hood, also has a drop shoulder, so it's that again adds to kind of like the more streetwear look of a hoodie, has the big kind of kangaroo pocket up front, and yeah, it's got the one by one ribbing at the bottom. So if you want it folded over for more of like a cropped look, like I have it here, that works. Or if you want to pull it down for like a longer look, that also works. This one is going to be a good budget hoodie. I think it runs between like $18 to even up to like $28, depending completely who you get it from. Um, but typically pretty easily, I've been able to find them at wholesale price for like 18, 19 to $20, kind of in that range plus shipping obviously but yeah it's a good fit um it's a good it's a good affordable option works great with screen printing and um i know i had some independent trading co hoodies on mine last year on my review for best hoodies but this is a kind of newer model they had so i obviously wanted to include it as it has been one of my favorites of this year just because it's super comfortable it's midweight it's not super heavy i personally like those midweight hoodies they're great for spring drops and stuff like that and overall, I just like how they fit. They're comfy and they look nice. So definitely a good affordable option if you guys are wanting to keep your prices lower and kind of like a cheaper option if you're just getting into screen printing or something like that. These are a great option for stuff like that. And I know last year, everyone asked me to show the insides of the hoodies too. So here you can kind of see this one has a really soft like fleece and it's gonna be warm and cozy, but it's mid-weight, so not too heavy, but definitely very soft and kind of fuzzy on the inside. So next on the list, we got a, another one from Lane 7 Apparel, and I know I did one from Lane 7 last year, but again, this is one of their newer models. It's my new favorite model from them, so I thought I would include it in this year's picks for this year's video. It's going to be the Urban Pullover Hoodie from Lane 7 Apparel, so let me throw this on, and then we'll go ahead and talk more about it. 
All right, so this one starting off is already a little bit heavier feel than the Independent Trading Co. This one is gonna come in at 10 ounces and 340 GSM. So it's already a little bit heavier. This one focuses more on having a boxy fit than the other one. Again, this one's oversized as well. Like I said, I normally wear a 2XL. This is a single XL and you can see it still kind of looks even a little oversized on me like that. So this one's another oversized option, same as the other one doesn't have the drawstrings on the hood so it has more of the streetwear look with the kind of boxy fit and all that too this one is that it is pigment dyed so it kind of gets like that vintage washed feel and look to it so it's kind of like dyed compared to the other one being like a heathered heathered gray and the other one a solid black this one has more of like a dyed color to it to give it more of like that washed vintage feel and look to it which is cool um, so this one definitely feels a little bit higher quality than the in first independent one I showed you. I'd say this is the next step up in the bracket in terms of quality. It's a little bit heavier, feels a little bit nicer. Um, same as the last one, it has the one by one ribbing at the bottom. And it also has the double layered hood, which I forgot to put the hood on the last one, but I'll put them on all the rest of the ones so you guys can see the hood looks too. So again, if you're moving up in price range, this is the next best option in my opinion. Um, it's a little bit more pricey than the last option, but you'll feel it in the quality. It's a little bit nicer as well. And these ones, I forgot to mention with the independence as well, they both come away with tearaway tags. So you can rip them out and put your own branding and tags in if you want to. Now to show you guys the inside, it is a three end fleece like the last one. So it is still soft and kind of fuzzy inside. But since this one's a little bit heavier and thicker fabric, it does feel a little bit like thicker and scratchier inside, but it does feel better quality than the last one because it's heavier. Now these ones are about 25 to $30. So like I said before, they're a good mid range option. If you still want the, you know, decently thick and higher quality feel to it without being super expensive at like 25 to 30 dollars this would be a good option all right so moving on to the next pick it's the los angeles apparel hf09 gd now i had the same hoodie in my pick last year but i still love this hoodie i would still place it in my kind of top four for this year this one is pricier it comes in around 38 bucks and that's wholesale price um, plus you're going to have to pay shipping and since they are heavier shipping can be a little bit pricey too. Um, so this is a pricier option, but it's going up in quality. It's made in the U S and it's also going up in weight. It's a 14 ounce. So it's a lot heavier. It's considered a super heavyweight fleece. And I think they advertise that it can keep you warm in up to like 50 degrees or something like that. But I mean, it's really thick. I've worn it snowboarding and even like 30 degrees and I've been okay. So it's thick, it's heavy, um, it feels really nice. It has a garment dye to it as well. Again, oversized fit. This one is a 2XL, so it's a little bit baggier on me still. Um, doesn't have the drawstrings either, which like I said, I love. Has the removable tag like the other ones. I'm not gonna go super into detail in this one just because I've already talked about this one in my last video. So if you wanna know more about it, you could go check that one out too. But overall, here's how it fits would definitely still include this one in my top four pick for this year. And I've had this one printed on for like a year or two already and my design has stayed. So it definitely holds a screen print well and everything and is a good option for you if you're willing to spend a little more to make more of like a luxury, nicer kind of hoodie. So good option, still in my top four, Los Angeles Apparel. Um, for this one, you do need a like EIN with them or a business license or resale license to sign up for wholesale and be able to get these ones. And really quick, I'll show you the inside of this LA Apparel one. Um, it's definitely like not as soft of a fleece. It's more thick and sturdy, but not as soft. So it's kind of more stiff, stiff feel to it and rougher feel to it. Keep in mind, this one's been washed a bunch of times. Um, and also another thing to mention is these are pre-shrunk, so they don't shrink when you wash them. But this is what the inside looks like for those of you guys wondering about that. All right, now finally, the one y'all been waiting for, my number one pick for favorite blank hoodie of the year is this one by Renee Bassett. Right away when you put this on, you feel the quality. Like this one's 480 GSM, so it's thick, it's heavy, it's that French terry, which is feels amazing. Um, the fit is perfect in everything I want in a hoodie. Again, 
I'm wearing an XL and you can see that it does the perfect job of being cropped, which is like, you know, you guys know that the cropped hoodies are the wave right now. Everybody wants cropped. It's the perfect crop and like boxy fit to it. Yet it doesn't feel too snug and tight up here because it's oversized, even though it's an extra large, not a double XL like I normally wear. It still has the perfect bagginess in the arms and the body. It doesn't hug me too tight and it still is short. So it's short and baggy and just the perfect boxy all around fit. And with that 480 GSM, it just feels heavy. It feels durable. It feels quality. It feels really good. So another thing to note with these on the shoulders, waist, and cuffs is the double needle stitching that just adds to the quality and is definitely, if you know about fabrics, you know about sewing, you know about manufacturing clothes, you know that the double stitch just adds a nice touch of luxury feel to it. This one is garment dyed as well and pre-shrunk. So you're not gonna get the shrinking and you're also gonna get that nice garment dyed look of almost like sometimes faded or like a vintagey feel to it or you know, they just look really nice when pieces are garment dyed. So all around everything from the sewing and the stitching to the cuffs and the ribbing to the actual fabric itself being French Terry and 480 GSM, you guys can see why I picked this as my number one pick. It's, it's just the best quality. It's the most comfortable, the best fit and like boxy cropped look to it. Just everything about this piece came out perfectly. Here's a look at the inside of this one from Renee Bassett, and you can see that French Terry is just super fire quality. Now, as far as pricing goes, you can see that for one to three of these, they're only $43.13 each, which in my opinion for the quality of these is a great deal because, I mean, you could easily sell this hoodie for like 120 bucks, and no one would question it because it just feels super luxury. Um, for four to 25, which is Usually if you're a smaller brand, probably the best option because you save almost $10 on each one. It's only $35 each, which makes it even cheaper than the LA Apparel ones, which in my opinion, these ones have a nicer fit to them. They have more of the boxy cropped look and they're French Terry, which is always better in my opinion. So that right there is probably the best option for you guys if you have a smaller brand. And then it just gets cheaper and cheaper the more you order from there. These ones from Renee Bassett are made in Portugal and how the shipping works from their company is they kind of work with you depending on your budget. So if you want to do what I did and get it shipped by air, it does cost a little bit more if you are in the US. If you're in Europe or something, then it's I think it's a little bit cheaper. But if you're like me, you're in the US, the fastest option to get these would be shipping them by air, which is going to cost you a little more. And then the next option is to ship by sea, which will take longer, but it'll still be shorter than reporter. Like it'll be like 16 to 28 days is kind of the average time range for getting it shipped that way, which would be your cheaper option if you're trying to be more affordable. Now, how the shipping works when you are ordering from their website is if you're in the US like me and you order, the shipping will show up as free and it's not free. So don't don't expect it to be free when you're checking out. It'll show up as free if you're from the US though because they will then further reach out to you. Now their customer service is great. Everything about them so far that I've seen has been great. They'll reach out to you really quickly and they'll try to see and discuss with you your options and your plans and um, see if, if speed is more important to you or affordability is more important to you. And then they'll work it out with you which carrier they use and which method of shipping to deliver these hoodies to you. Now, if you want to order one of these hoodies from Renee Bassett at wholesale price, then you're going to need a resale license or wholesaler's license or something like that. You're going to need either a EIN for the US or if you're in a country that uses the VAT, you're going to need one of those um, tax ID numbers to be able to sign up for wholesale. But I'll really quick show you guys the process of how you guys can sign up. If you do have your tax ID number ready, then I'll show you really quick how you can sign up for wholesale prices with this company. So in order to sign up with them and get wholesale prices, you're going to go to their website, ReneeBassett.com, and then you will be brought to this front page where you can either look at their ready to wear options over here, which is just retail stuff, not wholesale are still great quality if you're one of those people that maybe don't own a brand and just want to wear cool like blank or basic pieces that are really nice quality you can go that route if you do own a brand like me and you want to do wholesale you're going to click over here where it says wholesale application and it takes like two minutes to fill out and then they should approve you pretty quickly you're just going to put your name 
your email, your company name, your phone number, um, an alternate number if they can reach you at that. And then right here where it says company VAT number, um, if you guys are in the US, you will just put your EIN number right here or your tax ID number, that works fine. Or if you guys have a VAT, if you're not in the US, then go ahead and put that. Put the website to your company or wherever you're selling clothes and then make a password. And then go ahead and tell them a little bit, little bit about yourself or your business so they can kind of verify you. Then you just put your company address and you press apply for account and that is it. And that's all you have to do to sign up for them to get the wholesale prices. They are super nice people. They should reach back out to you pretty quickly. So it's a really easy process to get going. Now they were kind enough to send me some strike offs with my hoodie sample so I could see the quality of work they do. And this is their embroidery. You can see it's super super nice quality it's kind of got that like puffed raised feel to it and the colors came out nice and it just it looks clean there's not a lot of loose strings or anything like that like which i've seen with other companies embroidery so then the second strike off they sent me is their screen printing options the top one in yellow there is a 3d print so it has some texture and sticks out a little bit and then the blue one is just a standard screen print but they both look really nice and you can tell they did a great job with them now to make things even better, I can offer you guys a little discount with these two. They were nice enough to send me a coupon code to share with you guys. So if you go ahead and use the code Derek on their products, you will get 5% off anything site wide. And as well as make sure you use the link in my description. I'll go ahead and put my link with them on my description. So you guys can click that and go ahead and apply my coupon and get a discount from them. If you're thinking about ordering from them or signing up wholesale and stuff like that. I highly recommend if you guys are looking for a really good blank brand, at least try ordering a sample from them or something because you won't be disappointed. And I think you guys will probably end up wanting to work with them once you see these samples and the quality for the price point they're offering. You really can't beat it, which is why I put Renee Bassett as my number one pick for this year's blank hoodies. All right, y'all, that is officially going to wrap it up for this year's video on my top blank hoodie picks. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, like I know two years ago when I made this video, I got a ton of comments of how much you guys appreciated this type of video and how much it helped you guys out. So be sure if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you like the video, you're subscribed to me to see future videos. And also make sure you do drop a comment again and let me know which one of these was your favorite. Let me know if I was helpful to you, um, if there's other things you want to see that would be more helpful, or maybe you have your own favorite blank brands you want to throw in as a recommendation to other people. Go ahead, leave all those in the comments for me. Let me know. Other than that, guys, I super appreciate all y'all who've been watching me. Appreciate everything you guys have been doing. And yeah, I hope that this video was helpful to y'all and I hope that it helps with your business or helps you get some fire blanks to wear yourself. And that's going to wrap it up for today. All right, y'all. I appreciate you.